hello, check this out guys, we are back on the main village inside of COC, you would not believe it, but it is currently like 30 plus degrees here in London, and I am legit sweating my butt off. Sweat running from my forehead all the way to my toe in one long stream, guys. If I remember, I'm going to take a photo and uh, put it at the end of the episode, so make sure you stay tuned, it could be a funny photo. But, we haven't done a war video in a long time, and although it is extremely hot and I cannot breathe, there is a, you know, a saying that goes around, never return, sorry, never back down, never surrender, and uh, I think we need to get these war attacks in. So a couple of moments ago, I attacked the number one player on the enemy team, but now it's time to do a live attack against the number four, Hamed, and we're going to try and triple star him, and I'm going to show you what strategy we will use in a few moments. Just before we do that, we're going to go ahead and check out the replay on number one. So as I said, I attacked this dude a couple of moments ago, and you wouldn't believe it, we almost, it was so unbelievably close, we almost got a three star on this guy. Can any of you, my subscribers, take a guess down below in that comment section, how much damage do you think we have done to this base? Let's see if anyone can get the right answer, guys. I'll give you a clue. We were so close to a three star, it was almost unbelievable. So take a guess down below in that comment section. But let's go ahead and check out the attack strategy we were using. So it was a, uh, a Super Queen Walk. We got Bowlers. Sorry, just the Queen Walk, not a Super Queen Walk. We got Bowlers, which is some Baby Dragons and a Giant to draw out the CC. So just whilst we're drawing out the Clan Castle, don't forget if this is the first time you are seeing the channel, make sure to subscribe, guys. We post videos every single day. Although today, we may only post one because it's so damn hot. I literally can't breathe. I'm not, I'm not even exaggerating. I'm going to try my best to upload a photo of how sweaty I am at some point in this episode, guys. If you want to see a sweaty photo of Tony, go ahead and drop a like on the video. But check it out. Poison Spell takes out the Baby Dragon just about and uh, takes out the Balloon. Big Dragon manages to stay alive because he is a tank. But what we're going to do, we're going to go in with the Baby Dragon and the Archer Queen on the left. Just to clear the buildings and make a funnel, they're going to take out the big boy dragon and clear all those buildings. Then on the right hand side, double jump spell directly into the core. And we're going to drop down some bowlers just to make a second funnel. Rest of the bowlers, the witches and the barbarian king with of course the other max level hero, the grand warden. Going to go into the center guys and it looks like we are about to wreck this base. Now as I said, take a guess. How much damage do you think we're going to do? I promise you, we came so close to 100% damage. It was unbelievable. Unfortunately, I was actually sitting in the garden, you know, getting a little bit of sunlight in, guys. And uh, I forgot to use my Barbarian King's ability, so we used it way too late. And by the time we used it, the single target Inferno Tower had kind of destroyed my, my, uh, my faith in this battle. We kind of got wrecked, but fortunately for me... A couple of little Larrys run around with some Barbarians and actually take out the Town Hall, so that was awesome. But check it out, guys. Down the bottom, we got a whole unit, a whole squadron of max level bowlers rampaging down the bottom of the base with the Grand Warden, of course. And they actually managed to annihilate like 10 defenses just, you know, ridiculously quick. We got the Archer Queen over on the left-hand side, still got her ability to use. Unfortunately, we did have to use it. The Expo was going to kill my poor Queen, but she manages to take out the Expo, take out the Gold Storage, the Collector, and even do a little bit more damage. So we drop in the final Baby Dragon down the bottom, guys, and check that out. 92% so far, but still climbing. 93, 94. Archer Tower was going to go down, and that, I believe, is the, uh, the final building, the Cannon, and then the Baby Dragon dies, the Archer Queen dies. And we only left four buildings on the map, guys. So close. If I if I'd used that Bob King ability just a little bit sooner, guarantee you would have been a three star. So I hope some of you got the right guess there and uh, managed to guess the amount of damage we were gonna do. But now we're gonna focus our attention on Hamid. Hamid, you are about to get hammered. Let's see if we can do this. So it's kind of like, you know, a similar base to what we just attacked. So let's see if we can just mirror the same strategy and uh, take this dude out. So let's go for a quick train. Let's just train up the army we just used. However, we may remove the jump spells. I'm not really too sure, guys. So we got 240, 11 spells, and we've also already got our CC troops. We got a golem, a giant, and a rage spell. So uh, just whilst the army's cooking, let's go over to the base and see what we're going to do. So he is number four, Hamid. I'm really hoping for a three-star, guys. Please. Smash a like if you think I can three-star the base and you've made it this far into the episode. So, double jump. Will it work? Let's find out. So, we've got a clan castle. We can actually draw this out. 
using a giant. So we're going to keep the giant. That's going to draw out the CC. We're going to kill that using a couple of archers, just like the previous battle. And then we're going to use a double jump spell, guys. But we're going to be dropping in the jump spells. I think we're going to attack from here. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Hold on. I've got sweaty fingers, and now my fingers are getting stuck on the screen. This is horrible. So hot, guys. Let me know how hot is it where you are in the world, and uh, where are you? Is it really hot where you are? So we're going to do this. I think we're going to be dropping in a jump spell here on this cannon, jumping over this first wall into the, uh, the, the, the main bit, and then we're going to drop in a second jump spell pretty much on the Eagle Artillery, and I'm hoping that's going to get us into the base. Now, the tricky part is... This dude's got quite a lot of buildings running around the outside, but if we use some smart baby dragons, we might be able to pick these buildings off and uh, create for ourselves some sort of funnel. So we're going to do this. You know what? I've got an even better plan. Yeah, let's, let's just stick with that, guys. So we're going to funnel in on the left with a baby dragon, funnel in on the right with a baby dragon, and uh, we might drop down the archer queen on the left-hand side as well. But that's after we kill the defending CC. On the right-hand side, we're going to drop in some bowlers just to take out some of those buildings. And then the rest of the bowlers, the heroes, and of course the witches, will pour into the core of this base. So let's see if we've got any gems. How many do we have? 31. Okay, we might need to go and buy ourselves some gems, guys, because the army isn't ready. And uh, it's going to cost a little bit too much. So we'll be back in a second once the army is ready to rumble. Let's remove two bowlers, bring an extra baby dragon, two extra archers. And uh, we'll be back. So check this out, guys. We are back. And of course, the army is now ready to destroy Hamid. So we've got ourselves 22 bowlers, two witches, three baby dragons, two, uh, sorry, three healers, one giant, seven archers. I don't know why we've got seven, but seems good. And uh, one jump, sorry, two jumps, three rage, and an additional rage in the CC. So number four, let's see if we can beat this dude. And uh, let's just check. Currently, we are winning the war by a single star. So it's a close one, guys. It's definitely going to be a close war, but their top dude has already used his uh, his two top attacks, and he didn't do very well. So we're going to see if we can clean up Hamid and uh, maybe get a three-star. I'm not really too sure. Let's just try our best, guys. That's all we can do and uh, kind of see what happens. So what we're going to do, let's do this. We're going to drop in that giant. That's going to go around the corner and uh, hopefully pull out what's ever inside of that CC once again. And we also got a giant big bomb, so that's awesome. So, here we go. Archer's going to go down. Going to drop in that poison spell just ahead. Going to drop down some more archers. Keep pulling over this clan castle. And uh, four more archers. Let's just drizzle them in slowly, guys. There goes another one. Can we grab the baby dragon and, of course, that balloon as well? Yes, we did. And uh, the big dragon, not really that serious. Don't really care about that. That can stay over there somewhere. So, we're going to drop in this archer queen over here. Send in the three healers, and then we're going to go with a jump spell. And I think we're going to change this up slightly, guys. We're going to drop in a jump spell there, and a jump spell there. That's going to get us into the core. There goes the um, the golem. Going to send in some ball, not balloons, sorry, some, uh, some bowlers over on that side. Two witches going to go in just behind. There goes the grand warden with a queen. We're going to have to use the grand warden's ability really early. Had to save the queen there. And uh, we're going to drop a Rage Spell in on these bowlers. Now, obviously, we just kind of had to sacrifice that Grand Warden's ability. That's really unfortunate, guys. But sometimes, you know, stuff happens. Can't really do too much about that. Another Rage Spell down into the core. We've got this Archer Queen. She seems to be in trouble once again. So we're going to use the Queen's ability. But check it out. This attack hasn't really gone as well as the first one. Now we're going to use the Barbarian King's ability. Dropping a Rage Spell over on that Super Queen Ward, guys. But it's not really looking great so far. we still got these three baby dragons. So if this Queen can create some sort of funnel, we can still pick up a two-star here, guys. Don't worry. We got this. We got this. So we're going to drop down that Archer. She's going to take out those buildings. The Queen and the Healers and the Grand Warden, they're just going to make their way around the outside. And uh, I reckon this is going to be somewhere in the region of 80%. If we can get a two-star, it's going to be awesome. So we still got three baby dragons. We're going to do this. We're going to see if this baby dragon goes into the center. If it does, we're going to drop in all three at the same time. So there we go. Three baby dragons going into the core at the same time, guys. They should technically take down that town hall. No problem whatsoever. So let's find out if they've got this. Here we go. Obviously, they're all going to target it. One's going to drop. Second one's going to drop. The third one, no, it's going to be so close, but they didn't quite get it. And the Archer Queen's going to go down as well, guys. We have flopped this so badly. 
Damn. But uh, yeah, we kind of flopped this really bad. So we're just going to let the Grand Warden die. And then we're going to go a hide and uh, never come back out. Nah, I'm only kidding. You know what, guys? Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I kind of messed up the funnel on this base. And uh, the Archer Queen, I kind of left her and she kind of messed up a little bit. But we got one more Archer. We're just going to allow that girl to take out that final Elixir Collector. She's got 10 seconds to take it out. Please say she's got this. Here we go. Five. Five seconds. Yep, she should have this, guys. Just about grabbing it. And that's going to take us to a 65% one star. Hashtag Tony sucks. So, 65% one star in the bag. And, uh, yeah, not really too great, guys. So, that pretty much takes us to a total of 62 stars against 60. And, uh, hopefully, we've got this war in the bag. I don't think they're going to win, guys. Because, quite simply, they've used their top two attacks. And, um, I don't know who he attacked. He must have hit... Yeah, he's obviously hit really low. He hit number four, and he hit number... What is it? I don't know, guys. He's hit really low. He's, he's used two attacks. He doesn't have any attacks left, but it doesn't show who, obviously, he's hit. They're number two, number three, number four and five, and number six, and number seven still have two attacks left each. But um, they do have to attack our top players, so fingers crossed we can do this. Should have the win in the bag. Should be a close one. If not, then, uh, you know, we tried our best. And for anyone wondering, we are going to continue this trophy push, guys, once the new season starts. For some reason, I'm sure loads of you are aware, Supercell done a half season, which is only 7 days and 13 hours. But uh, once that's over, we are going to get ourselves into a trophy push on the main village. So we are going to end this episode here. There could be another one coming in a couple of hours' time, but I doubt it, guys. It's extremely hot. I'm sweating way too much, and uh, I don't really want to, you know, go for a shower, then go for another one later. So we're just going to end this episode here. Stay tuned. There will be one maybe later, or, you know, of course, it will be coming tomorrow as usual, guys. I'll see you soon. Have a great Sunday. Peace out.